John Crow Ransom. The seminal assumptions of the new criticism was proposed by Ransom in a series of essays entitled The New Criticism and an essay Criticism Inc. published in the world's body in 1938. His essay is motivated by the desire to make literary criticism more scientific or precise and systematic. He urges that the emphasis of criticism must move from historical scholarship to aesthetic appreciation and understanding. While he accepts the value of historical and biographical information, Ransom insists that these are not ends in themselves, but instrumental to the real aim of criticism. The real aim of criticism is to define and enjoy the aesthetic or characteristic values of literature. Ransom proposes that the critic must study literature and not about literature. Therefore, criticism should exclude the personal impressions because the critical activity should cite the nature of the object rather than its effects upon the subject. Second, criticism should exclude synopsis and paraphrase since the plot or story is an abstraction from the real content of the text. Third, criticism should exclude historical studies, which might include literary backgrounds, biography, literary sources and analogues. Four, criticism should exclude linguistic studies, which include identifying allusions and meanings of words. Five, literary criticism should exclude moral content, since this is not the whole content of the text. And finally, it should exclude any other special studies which deal with some abstract or prose content taken out of the work. The scope of criticism should include technical studies of poetry, metrics, tropes and fictiveness. Ransom also insists on the ontological uniqueness of poetry as distinct from prose and other uses of language. Poem is nothing short of a desperate ontological or metaphysical manoeuvre which cannot be reduced to prose. Therefore, literature and literary criticism should enjoy autonomy both ontologically and institutionally. For Ransom, criticism has to focus on the text itself, the words on the page.